All right, here's the deal, guys. We all know that lightning is dangerous, right? I mean, it's one of those things you always hear us say, when thunder roars, go indoors. But here's the truth about it all. You're never going to get a, a warning from the National Weather Service because of a thunderstorm having so much lightning that it, it's deadly. One lightning bolt is deadly, and if you can hear thunder, you can be struck by lightning. Now, you'll probably say, well, when the storm's off in the distance, that's, that's not a concern, right? I mean, yes, typically you do have lightning underneath the thunderstorm, but lightning can exit out the top of a thunderstorm cloud, travel out into the blue skies where you might be standing, and can strike you 10 to 15 miles away from the storm. It's a serious concern. So here's also why it's so dangerous. Think about these stats here. This is the truth here. 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how hot a lightning bolt can get. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Now, within one lightning bolt, you can have 100 million to 1, to 1 billion volts of electricity, billions of watts. And in some instances, there has been record of a lightning bolt traveling 25 miles from the storm cloud that produced it. Think about that, 25 miles from the actual storm cloud. Now, lightning is just the first thing that happens, right? Then you hear the thunder. And here's why you hear the thunder. A lightning bolt itself is only one to two inches in diameter. I mean, it's relatively small when you think about it, but the heat of that lightning bolt, again, climbing up to temperatures of 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, that will rapidly cause the air to expand. In fact, it's, it's a violent process because it gets so hot so quickly and then it cools down. That rapid expansion and cooling and compression happens faster than the speed of sound and that ultimately creates a sound similar to a sonic boom. And that is the thunder that you are hearing as a result of the intense heating of the air from that lightning bolt. So at the end of the day, there's no place safe that's out when you're outside, when you're near a thunderstorm. There's just not. You've got to get inside. If you can hear thunder, get to a safe shelter. And if you can't, if there's no place to seek shelter indoors, just do a few things. Get off of elevated areas. Get off the hill if you're on a golf course. Also, never lie flat on the ground. If you can minimize your contact with the ground, the better off you'll be. Also, never shelter underneath an isolated tree. These are all things that you can do to try to prevent from being struck by lightning.